हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अनुप सिंह यू आर वॉचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द गैस टर्बाइन इंजिन एक्चुअली गैस टर्बाइन इंजिन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन एयर का प्रपल्शन सिस्टम सो गाइज here we are going to discuss a very important three questions or you can say three points related to gas turbine engine the first one is what is gas turbine engine that is very basic question then second is why we are using the gas turbine engine in aircraft propulsion system and third question is what are the main primary components of the gas turbine engine so guys this three all three questions are very important questions related to gas turbine engine once you are going to find out the answer of this all three questions you, you are going to clear most of all basics about gas turbine engine here we are going to see all the questions because gas turbine engine is very important we are using the gas turbine engine in our aero engine so guys first question that is what is gas turbine engine so gas turbine engine is defined as the continuous type engine and also called com internal combustion types of engine so here you can see the definition but in that definition you can find out why the gas turbine engine is called continuous type engine and internal combustion types of engine because gas turbine engine in gas turbine engine the flow is a continuous flowing inside the gas turbine engine is not stopped anywhere that's the reason gas turbine engine is a continuous types of engine and we are doing the combustion process internally inside the gas turbine engine that's the reason it's called internal combustion types of engine and the application of gas turbine engine are air cap propulsion system and electrical power generation so here the picture is cleared like uh, the application of gas turbine engine is not only for aero engine it is also using for industrial purpose in order to generate the power so it's very important to understand the gas turbine engine is not only used for aero engine is also using for power generation in industries so guys the second question is why we are using gas turbine engine in aircraft propulsion system so this is very important questions of the student those are learning aircraft propulsion subject so guys try to understand there is a advantages of gas turbine engine as compared to other engine other engines is like a spark ignition engine compression ignition engine that we are find out in automobile engine so i am going to not going to discuss much related to that positive displacement engine that i am going to make separate video about the comparison between the positive displacement engine and gas turbine engine here is very important why how i am going to categorize and how i am going to find out that is going to substitute the reason why i am using the air, gas turbine engine in aircraft engine so guys here i mentioned the advantages of the gas turbine engine as compared to the other engine so it possesses a higher thermal efficiency is about 44% if you compare to other engine it possesses a higher weight to power to weight ratio that is very important factors and other factor is high reliability and long life so guys this parameter is very important parameter is defining the design with respect to performance and the third very important point it possesses high back work ratio that is means that ratio of work ratio compressor work to the turbine work that is also a very important parameter so guys this is a three very important uh, statement in the advantages what i need to explain and that make a better and very advantages of gas turbine engine as compared to other engine that's the reason we are using the gas turbine engine in aero engine now guys the third question what are the primary components of the gas turbine engine so guys there are five main primary components of the gas turbine engine now the first one is a diffuser second one is compressor third one is combustion chamber uh, fourth one is turbine and fifth one is nose 
disposal that is called exhaust also so guys this all five main components of the gas turbine engine and that is very very important because this all five components is a itself a chapter it's a, a big chapter in aircraft propulsion one and in aircraft propulsion two subject so guys here i am not going to define in in much detail i am going to make a separate video of each and every component as like a chapter what you are find out in the subject so here i am going to give a small detail about each component so you get the basic idea about each components of the gas turbine engine you can see here i mentioned one schematic diagram in this diagram this is a diagram of gas turbine engine in this diagram you can find out all five main components or all five primary components of the gas turbine engine the first what i said the first is intake and second is compressor the third component is combustion chamber that is also called combustor fifth one is turbine and last one is a nozzle that is also called exhaust so guys the first component is diffuser you can see here the diffuser is the first main component in the gas turbine engine and if you see the main function of the gas turbine engine is to bring the air smoothly into the engine to slow down the fluid and increase the pressure and decrease the velocity of the flow and the last one you can find out to deliver the uniform flow to the compressor so this is the main function of the diffuser that is also called intake of the gas turbine engine you can see here i mentioned the uh, two figure that indicate there are two types of the diffuser actually we are using in the aero engine but it's depend upon the category of the aircraft the subsonic category of the aircraft we are using the subsonic diffuser and supersonic category of the aircraft we are using the supersonic diffuser so this is about the diffuser at the basic level this is the second component if you see the compressor is the second main component in the gas turbine engine the main function of the compressor is to compress the fluid at required amount of the uh, pressure with minimum total pressure loss actually compressor we are using to increase the pressure rise of the fluid that is required in the combustion chamber so you can see here i mentioned the two figure that axial flow compressor and centrifugal compressor actually in the aero engine we are using basically two types of the compressor the first one is centrifugal flow compressor and second one is axial flow compressor combustion chamber is the third main component in the gas turbine engine the main function function of the combustion chamber is to convert the chemical energy of the fuel into the heat energy actually in the combustion chamber we are burning the air fuel uh, mixture and uh, we are increasing the temperature of the flow in order to expand the flow through the turbine that is the next component so we are going to see in the next slide so guys in the aero engine or you can say in the gas turbine engine there are three types of the combustion chambers we are using the first one the can type second one is annular type and third one is can annular type so these three basic types of combustion chamber we are studying in gas turbine combustion chamber turbine the turbine is the fourth main component in the gas turbine engine if you see the main function of the uh, turbine are to convert the heat energy of the combustion chamber what we have seen on the previous one that is converted into the mechanical work and also producing the electricity that is required by the aircraft system so guys here you can find out the turbine is doing two function very important two function actually turbine is connected to the compressor with the help of axial shaft and also it is it is connected to the generator in the aero engine in order to rotate the compressor and second task is to rotate the generator also so with the help of generator it producing the electricity that is required by the air cup system and second thing once the flow is uh, the hot gases from the combustion chamber is going to flow through the turbine the turbine blade is rotate and produce the turbine work that is called power output and that power output is required to rotate the compressor so guys in aero engine or you can say in the gas turbine engine so guys don't confuse aero engine is called gas turbine engine so in aero engine we are connected the compressor with 
to the turbine with the help of axial shaft so turbine is rotating the compressor understand there is no any other mean that we are rotating the compressor so with the help of turbine we are rotating the compressor then the compressor is compressed the air at the required pressure ratio what we required to send into the combustion chamber so guys this is a basic idea about the working of turbine and in gas turbine engine there are two types of the turbines we are using the first one is axial flow turbine and second one is radial flow turbine nozzle is also called exhaust the nozzle is uh, the fifth component in the gas turbine engine the main function of the nozzle is to expand the flow or accelerate the flow so that is the main function of the nozzle if you see on the previous we are discussed about the turbine turbine is also expanding the flow but that is a partially expanded but you can find out the nozzle is expanding fully so that's the reason the high velocity of the flow leaving the engine at very high speed and producing the opposite direction rear reaction that is called thrust so the opposite direction reaction that is called thrust what we are learning in the propulsion system so guys here we are two types of the nozzles we are using the first one is subsonic nozzle and second one is supersonic nozzle so here the pictures are very cleared we are using the two category of the nozzle in the two category of the aircraft if it is supersonic uh, aircraft so we are using the supersonic nozzle and if it is subsonic aircraft so we are using the subsonic nozzle but guys sometime it is differ sometime in subsonic aircraft also we are using the supersonic nozzle because there is a concept of shock wave so guys that we are going to discuss in detail after the coming of the videos so guys this is a basic level what i need to explain to all the students so guys i hope so you guys are understand all the three questions related to gas turbine engine so that all the three questions is very important questions related to gas turbine is going to define itself at the basic level so here i am not discuss at the higher level because i am going to make the separate video of all the components that is required by the student because if you see we are discuss about the gas turbine engine actually gas turbine engine is a big chapter uh, we, are, we are using the cycle also that is called breton cycle so i am going to make a separate separate video in order to explain in detail so students are going to understand more so guys i hope so you guys are understand this video uh, this lecture and the, the purpose of making this uh, uh, video in order to explain what is a gas turbine engine to the student so guys uh, thank you for watching this video